29th of August, 2008. Hamburg is experiencing a world premiere. The first commercially used passenger ship powered by a fuel cell drive enters liner service on the Hamburg Alster. I christen you Alsterwasser, and I wish you always a good journey and that you may always find a hand's breadth of water beneath your keel. In Hamburg 2005, there was an idea for a state initiative for the development of fuel cell and hydrogen technology. That was the starting point from which we developed a legitimate project. The Alsterwasser was built as part of the subsidized EU life project, Zero Emission Ships, ZEM Ships. A consortium of nine partners has made this project possible. They have pooled their know-how in order to turn this idea into a ship. The way things roughly developed was that the Environmental Administration Office approached us and asked us, begged us, if we would participate in an application process. That was initially very, very fascinating. The answer was clearly obvious. We wanted to be part of this. The right people were sitting together at the right time and were saying, Hamburg wants to get involved in hydrogen technology. What can be done? In a way, the project practically imposed itself on us. The crucial advantage of fuel cell technology is that it is emission low or even emission free. The official keel laying of an inland vessel is already a remarkable event, but the ship we are talking about is also remarkable. What is so special about this ship? The heart of the emission-free drive, the fuel cell system, comes from Proton Motor, the expert for fuel cell and hybrid systems. We've already fitted buses with fuel cells, we've equipped forklifts, but this is the first ship, not only for us, but the first ship of this magnitude worldwide that is operated with fuel cells. Two powertrains together with a battery form the hybrid system, which is integrated into the ship. How does a fuel cell actually function? The energy in the fuel cell is generated by the controlled combination of hydrogen and oxygen. Crucial for the reliable performance of the cell is an extremely thin membrane through which the hydrogen is separated from the oxygen. This membrane allows only hydrogen protons to pass through it. During this process, which is also referred to as cold combustion, electrical energy is created. A fuel cell is ultimately very much the same as a battery, except that the fuel cell is not charged with electricity, but instead is recharged with hydrogen, which leads to a much, much higher energy and power density than with a battery. Besides its high efficiency, this process is characterized by zero emissions. Solely pure water, or rather Alsterwasser, is the reaction product from the fuel cell. ZEM ships means high-tech meets classical shipbuilding. It was a challenge for the shipbuilders in the Hamburg dockyard, or at Karten, to accommodate the new technology in cramped ship spaces. The laboratory for fuel cell and energy efficient technology at the Hamburg University of Applied Sciences assumed responsibility for the scientific part of the ZEMSHIPS project. First we had to determine how a steamer on the Alster is actually operated today. This means we had to collect and evaluate performance data from a steamer along the routes in which the ZEMSHIP will also be operated. Furthermore, we'll be able to deduce what kind of energy savings and emission avoidance we can achieve with this.